boarding group. We'll call for the passengers that require an extra time down to the aircraft. Any English day list for customers that did not oh, receive any boarding pass. Yeah. Any okay. family boarding that have parents traveling with children six years and younger or any active duty military in uniform. It's the first weekend in March, and the eyes of the hunting and fishing world are mostly on South Florida. They get to kick off their turkey season this weekend, but I'm following most of Nashville to Las Vegas. It's the ACM Awards, and if you don't know, my wife is actually a pretty big deal in country music, hosting the internationally syndicated Nights with Elena radio show and getting to host the red carpets this year for the ACM Awards. Now it's a work trip, so I'm gonna have to find ways to keep myself entertained, and I'm terrible at gambling. So what do I do? I search out the closest piece of public ground and get to walking. but you wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell it but there it is right there right there well, we're going up gonna look around the desert for a while a little worried we don't find dead bodies This is insanely cool, you know, from a hiking standpoint, obviously, just to be in the middle of the desert and to be able to see the skyline right there, it's really cool. But man, as far as like finding you know, wildlife and stuff, it's nuts because like I don't even, I don't know where to look. I mean, you have to look in these shady pockets, but I don't know the desert. I don't know where they're supposed to be, where they are, what's even here. You know, this channel is a lot about hunting and fishing, and I do a lot of that. But there's so much hunting and fishing wise as you can learn from just being a hiker. I mean, this is all, this is all BLM land. Like, if we were ever able to draw a Nevada tag, we could come right here and hunt. You know, if anything's here to be found. Way back up in here now, surrounded by cactus and Joshua trees. That's nuts, man. Let's keep climbing. Only had to do some light rock climbing to get here. a lot mainly about just getting around in the mountains because you, know, you hear about getting cliffed out but until you do it and it happens to you you have to rethink your path you got to be smart I'm learning I'm learning a ton it's really cool just how to walk how to get around just building the experience block
is wild. I really haven't seen that many signs alive, you know, outside of another couple hikers. There's not like really any tracks. There may just not be any deer. I mean, there's not there's not a lot of cover. I mean, you can tell that. Maybe I'm just bad at desert hunting. I would say that's probably accurate too. But you can see way up over there. Get in the big alpine. Probably cool. Way outside the comfort zone, but try to soak it all in. like to show you more of this but it's it takes most of my concentration keep my feet going got down off the off of that and found a couple sets of droppings once from what looks like an owl or a hawk but the other one's deerish like I said when I got here I, I, you know I feel like this is I feel like this sheep country this little has the desert sheep look to it and I wouldn't know if it was sheep droppings, I wouldn't know a sheep from a moose. You know, we've been hiking all through the middle of the day, so it's not like we expect to see any moving, but that's how you know you've been in the desert too long. You're by yourself, and you say, we, me and all my collective personalities need to start heading towards the trailhead. For me, hunting and fishing is a vessel for adventure. At my core, I'm a wanderer. I want to see as much as I can, and hiking is a great tool for that. And this video was mostly a scenery video, and that's okay. Never discount the act of hiking for information gathering and hunting. Scouting is just hiking with a specific mindset. I hope to do more hiking with a mindset in more cool places. And I'm going to share it all with you right here.